Hey guys out there, this is the best pin. We're having a super show with the best radio show in the bullpen. I'm Mike Reed and this is... I'm Jim from the bullpen. Yeah, I ruined that for you. I'm sorry. That's okay. We're here to talk. Talk sports. All the sports. All of them. But for, we're going to talk about no, this team. About, them. Yeah, that, that The team Chicago right Bears. The and Chicago the, Bears. They're, and the 2016 Chicago Bears specifically. Oh, we're not talking about the 1985 Bears or the 63 no, Bears? The the 85 Bears, hands down, best. Best, I, best Bears ever. I agree with that. Some yeah. would say the best defense ever. Possibly. That 4-6 that zone, which leads us into our first topic. <laughs> will the Bears go 4-6? and six? The 3-4 defense. <laughs> or will they go 4-6? and six? <laughs> Will they give up on no. some of the games and not play? Yes, because they play more than 10 games in the season. <laughs> uh... But with that 3-4 defense, or, yeah, do you think uh, they're making the right transitions into that 3-4 defense? Well, hopefully they do. They have Vic Fangio, who yes. was the uh, defensive coordinator for that great 49ers team right. three years back. Right. Uh, Went to the Super Bowl with Colin Kaepernick. Exactly. What? And they have uh, the pieces, finally. Yeah. They had a 4-3. They had 4-3 pieces last year. Now they have 3-4, so I'm happy about right. that. Right. Uh, so... What's your what's your thoughts on uh, Parnell McPhee and his knee? Hopefully, it's almost a haiku, but not quite. <laughs> McPhee and his knee will be okay with me. That's oh, that's what like I got Dr. for you. It's like a Dr. Seuss book about the Bears. <laughs> Parnell McPhee and his wonky knee. And hopefully, they won't end up thirteen and three. Wait, I do want Wait, them to. Oh no, yeah, you want them to be thirteen three. I hope they don't end up three yeah. and thirteen. You know, so but yeah, his knee. Do you think he's gonna be ready for the season, or are we gonna be a couple weeks without him? Uh, see. Deep down inside, I want him to be ready. Yes. But as a professional, I think he may miss just the season opener. And if he, to me, if he has to miss a couple weeks so that he can make it through the rest of the season without injury, I'm okay with that. Exactly. Yeah, you and know, they, you want that. They play the Texans first. That's the season opener at right. Houston. So Ooh. that's that's, look, that's looking like an, an L our, right now. So how about, Yeah, our Swiss cheese offensive line is going to get eaten up by J.J. Watt. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> just even Clowney. Yeah, it's just going to be it's gonna be ugly. And they finally have a quarterback there, too. Brock Oswell. Oh, Brock Oswell. Yes, yeah. I forgot about that because he ate the Bears alive last year exactly. for the Broncos. Exactly. That was his first game as a starter, too. Yeah, that's crazy. I saw him play in high school. Oh, really? Yeah, he's from a tiny little town in Montana. I saw him play in high school. That's dope. Yeah, he's like... Nine feet tall. It's crazy. Yeah, Peyton Manning was like, uh, but that's enough of them. This then, is yeah, Bears talk. talk. About the Houston Texans. We're talking about the Bears. <laughs> the Bears. Now, I've had talks with people, and they didn't think they can go 6-10 and 10, or will go 6-10. and 10. Where do you see them? 6-10. and 10. Uh, 6 and 10, I think, is all right. I've, I'm optimistically looking at 8-8 eight and eight so that they're improving off of last year. They can be 8-8 eight and eight to improve next year to hopefully make the playoffs. But – if they can make the playoffs or be like nine and seven this year, whatever, you're ahead of schedule in my mind. Exactly, I see them as a wild card this year, just because the Vikings now have no quarterback. That's true. The Lions don't have one of the greatest wide receivers also of all true. time. It's just the Packers now. We beat them one time. We split last year with them. The yeah. Bears did. That AA Ron Rodgers is always a tough man to handle, though. I know he's, and now he has his uh, favorite white receiver of all time in Jordy Nelson. She's, but that's did, okay. Did you say white receiver? Cut. No. <laughs> no, I know. Well, I mean, I know Jordy, but I thought that's why, because Jordan Nelson. Well, he is good. white, so. Oh, I was just making sure. But you said wide receiver. What? You guys are racist. It's no. wide receiver. Anyway, we're not talking about that because we don't want to get into topics we can't handle because we're just talking sports. Sports. Specifically the Bears again. But, yeah, Aaron Rodgers and the Packers are usually a tough team to play. Do you think Aaron Rodgers' brother is Gonna Jordan is gonna bring JoJo to any of the games after their uh, the Bachelorette. I don't talk about Scrubs. Oh, okay. So Jay Cutler's doing. I think he's gonna have a great season this year. I don't talk about Scrubs. No, Jay Cutler's gonna do great. I like Jay Cutler. He's awesome. People forget he is technically the best quarterback of all time for the Chicago Bears yeah, franchise, which is kind of sad. That just tells you how many times the Bears we've did had, not try to throw the ball. We've had no other quarterbacks. But how is he going to have a hard time without Matt Forte around? Ooh. Yes and no. I say yes because the backfield, they're, they're going to miss him. But now right. he has 
his receivers. Kevin White will finally play. Right, right. The yes. pick from last year, first round uh, pick for the Bears. Another white receiver to talk about. No, he's black, okay? Yeah, but his last name is Kevin White. You got a point. Okay. Right. Uh, so Alshon Jeffries, uh, if he's actually playing. In a contract year. He's playing for oh, money. He's oh, playing then, for money. Right there, then and there. He's about to have a, a Pro Bowl year. So yeah. there you go. And then I feel Jeremy Langford and Kadeem Carey together can do – a combined effort of what Matt Forte did. See, now, I, b- I believe in Langford that he can probably eventually become a one-man back. Yeah, he doesn't he need he the could, community. He could be how, what Forte was and play for a good Yeah, he years. can catch yeah. out the backfield. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like him. He, he did great when Forte was hurt last year, and I have, I have high hopes. I just hope the offensive line stays together and they can uh, patch it up. You got high hopes. I do got you high got hopes. got high hopes. But not like hopes. high hopes. Not like blaze hopes. Oops. No. This is a family show. My bad. Do you have any other hard pressed issues you got for the Bears this season? Yeah, they should wear jerseys that look like my shirt. I think that would be crazy, but that's his opinion, and these have been our opinions about the 2016 Chicago Bears. I'm Mike Reed, and this is James Manning, and this is the best the bullpen be- of the, best the 21st century of all time. Yes. Hold this. <laughs> What?